your brows cake tutorial I made with a Mario Kart, but you can adapt and make you know, any Mario one. I'm starting at the two tiers. I think at the bottom one is 12 and the top one is six. And it's a fake one. It's like star foam on the, on the, you know, inside. And I'm using cold porcelain to cover. And I already cover it because, you know, you can find a thousand videos covering it. I just want to show you guys how to do the decoration. So if you cover in fondant, do all this work before. And we started, you just adapt to the materials and we, you can follow the step-by-step -step easily with the edible materials. Um, I just want to say a little disclaimer. This design is not mine. Um, was somebody then sent it to me for me to copy because they want that cake. So if you were the designing of this cake, please let me know. I will totally put your name on it. So I'm using this cookie cutter. I wanted a little smaller square, but I don't have it. But that's not a problem. When you don't have it, just adapt. So I'm going to cut... Um, a lot of little squares in black and a lot of little squares in white to do that checker check flag kind of details but I'm doing this first because kind of is the more annoying part of it because you need to make one by one and cut it one by one so now I'm cutting in the middle and cut it in the middle again so instead of one square you have four little ones so I, I got over it before I start creating the design so I didn't need to get angry at them so for them to don't dry I always use this plastic Tupperware and I put the craft phone on the bottom and on the top so it keeps a little soft because if it gets hard it's hard for you to put in the cake and doesn't stay you know the way it should be so now the black I'm gonna open a long like in a long way like I want more like a snake flat because I want to make the track on the top of the cake and with that little like razor then I got my haul for polymer clay I'm cutting it that sides because you can cover like you can cover nothing you can curve the blade so it's easier for you to follow the cake you know and make that little edge as pretty as you can I don't worry about the edge on the sides because we're gonna add grass and things like that so we don't need to go crazy about it and now with the green I'm just gonna place on top of it and go all on the sides and you don't need to open with a rolling pin you just stick in there and go all over because as not perfect is better because you don't want everything to be straight edges and things like that for grass you want them to go all over the place so that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna cover both sides and then we're gonna edge the details for it Again, I'm using cold porcelain. Um, I'm trying to bring cold porcelains for you guys here in the US. So keep like checking my web new website. My new website's I will go miles for you.com. The four is a number four. I will place here and down below on the info box. There I would have trying to have the cold porcelain it comes from Brazil, so it's a little bit more complicated. But every single tool that I use and things like that and everybody's asking me for, I would try to put it there, find people then sell it and put it there so you guys can, you know, find it and have all the tools because tools makes your life easier. So with this little um scissor, I'm just gonna cut with the little like gentle cuts and the whole green because that is gonna make looks like grass. I think, I don't know if it's the it's easiest way, but for me, it's the, it is the easiest way to make grass because it looks so cool and it's like you don't need to worry about, you know, just put the TV on and go, go crazy. And we're going to do that. See, you can see I'm not really cutting. I'm just using the, you know, the little tip of the scissor to do that. And we're going to do all over the green. Who said that cake decorating is not exercising? <laughs> My hand's gonna be strong, just one actually. So now, um, this is stars. I cut it yesterday because I, I want it to be hard for me to place on the cake, but I just used like a star cookie cutter a little thick and cut the stars. I just made it the day before because I want them to stand up right here. And I do want the cold porcelain to be like soft and lose the shape. So that's the only thing I did it, but it's just a cookie cutter, cook, cut it, let it dry, that's it. And I'm just 
putting right there. The banana chew, I made it before because I had the yellow from the stars and I forgot to make the video. But if you don't know how to, please let me know in the comments below. I will make the video to show the stars of the bananas. It's kind of like a peel banana. Then Mario always drive by and sleep off. And if you're smarter than me, probably everybody is. <laughs> right? The, uh, like, draw the eyes before you put the stars on the cake. Easier. But I forgot. So with this flower cookie cutter, I am cutting uh, the trees. I want them to look very like video game ish. So with this little um, tube brush or whatever brush it is, it's not a tube brush because you hope nobody's brushing the teeth of that. But I was just marking to give a little effect. And this tool, I'm just making some like dip, like making some dots to look more like the pixels on the TV. I don't know that was I was thinking about it and this too you can find at the website as well I think it's already there in you can use for a bunch of stuff but I wanted to make my tree look like a video game and then I'm gonna just put it there on my cake you always look for the best looking side for your cake to be the front but as since I'm I was going to cover it with all the decorations I didn't worry too much and I made another little one and put it in the center because I thought it was a little like mm. And for the seven, um, I made a bunch of little stars with my little cookie cutter um, and I just placed them together. See, I made a bunch of them because they're gonna go around the cake as well. And I just made a seven and put the, the stars together and you just use any cookie cutter you have because I wanted to have the age that making this cake for Jake. Um, and then he's, he was going to turn seven so and that's me asking for the cats to don't touch anything you think are my cats no it's so the cats that were like doing something making noise and fighting so now i'm putting all the stars around and if you have any like dent or scratch or things like that just hide with your decorations if you're gonna make like a cake like a fake cake for weddings and things like that then you need to leave that perfect and i can show you how i do for um cool porcelain if you guys want and one day for the cake for a video let me know because a lot of weddings now they are using you know fake cakes because they're cheaper and you can keep forever or you can rent for another you know bride or something so i'm clipping putting my stars and I should have just draw the eyes before I did that, but I didn't. So that's why I'm letting you guys know, so you don't need to, you know, copy the my mistakes. Just copy the things, the good things. And I'm just going all around on my stars. I'm using normal Elmer's glue, like white glue, because I'm using cold porcelain. But if you're using anything edible, just adapted materials, add white, edible glue. And now I'm placing the seven because I want that to be a focal point before I put all the decorations around. And to be sure then I can see that very well, you know, before putting the tracks and things like that. Hold a little bit until it's dry. And I'm doing the same thing that I did to the trees to a smaller cookie cutter, but the same shape for the bushes. Like, you know, like to have some plants, some grass on the bottom. And that's what I wanted to do. And so I cut one side flat so I can adapt it in the bottom of my cake because you need a fly part and you just keep, you know, open your imagination and look where it's missing some details and just put it on because it's Mario Bros and it's fun, it's cake, it's kids we need everything like fun and colorful and full of details And I'm using the scissor again and that one just to give a little cuts like we did on the top to look like grass just to give a little 3d effect I think I say that all the time on my videos but it's true because you know details make difference so now I am making little balls not a measurement like just do it for a cloud and I'm opening the white on my hand just a little thick you don't want too thin because you don't want to see the balls but you want thick enough then you can cover them and give the 3d effect see I always say that so now I'm gonna put them together and lay it over like a blanket I don't want to squish the balls I don't want them to disappear I just want them to be there and covered 
So when you look to the cake, it's like a cloud is like, you know, coming out of the cake. And be careful with the nails. That's, I went to a party, so I had this long, horrible witch nails. Then it's not helping for the cakes, but you know, I need to get that off, but it didn't have time. So I cut, I cut it, the cookie cutter again, the same one that I used for the flowers and like bushes, and I'm just making it sh lose the shape because I want the curvy sides, but I don't want like a flower. So I'm just pushing and pulling around into there's like a cute um, cloud shape, if that makes any sense. Don't forget always to use glue when you're working with cold porcelain because it, cold porcelain when it dries, it shrinks. And if you don't have glue, it's gonna move around. And I'm placing like clouds everywhere where I think it should be. In the back, you guys can see the, like, the picture of the cake that was sent to me for me to make it. So if you're the creative of this beautiful cute cake for Mario, please let me know. I would love to you know, link you below or like say your name or something. Um, I like, don't like to, you know, to don't use the name of who deserves it. So those little squares then we started the video with the black and the white, we're gonna use all then right now. So I wanted to make it before because I knew that once I decorated, started decorating the cake, it would be, a, you know, it drive me insane to stop and cut it like squares. And now I'm gonna make two lines of that, you know, you get one black, one, one white, one black and white, and you go all over the side of your cake. Try to don't squish your squares so you don't lose the, the square shape. Because after a while you're like you're just like, oh my goodness, I'm another square. But you don't wanna you know, put it too much, you know, touch on your squares and it looks like a ball or something. And keep going. I'm speeding it up here just because that took forever, but you know you guys can see. I know my channel is having an overload of Mario Bros lately, but it's because I was making this party with Michelle, my one of my best friends, and um, for Jake, and so we were like working on all Mario stuff, and I just, you know, put my camera on in case I wanted to make a video, so that's why you're seeing the heads and the creations and things like that, but don't worry, it's not gonna be just a Mario channel, I promise. I don't know if you guys are curious about, but I think this cake, um, being a fake cake and not like I didn't need to bake anything or, or make anything in the kitchen, it probably took me up to 11 hours between, you know, covering and doing, making the details, letting dry, cutting everything. I think I started in the morning and probably finish the same day, but like at night. So that's why I'm speeding it up because Nobody deserves an, you know, <laughs> 11 hours video, but it's too long. I think it's close to 30, but I want to show you guys everything. So now we're gonna start with the brown. We're gonna make a little um, ball and then go up and down, up and down to make like a this long cone. Um, I wanted my tree to look kind of funky 
because it's a video game so I'm flooding it out like that and I'm just gonna turn the top like a branch I just want it to look not like a real tree but like a fun video game looking kind of and then we're gonna place on the cake just like that don't forget the glue I might put some green on the branch and the sides of the tree just because I thought that was missing but the same thing that I did it before so I cut it out this part of the video so it doesn't take forever now the brown again I made a ball I squished flat in the in my table because I need one of the top like the parts flat and with my hands you see the palm of my hands I'm making like a cone shape but not a perfect cone because we're making that bad mushroom um, I'm sorry for all you know Mario crazy um, fans and for Jake too I don't really know the names but that's okay so I made a little world with a beige like a skin color and now I'm gonna make two balls smaller for his shoes and now we're gonna make um, those little mad angry mushroom so I made a little cone squish on the back like we do all the shoes use one side roll up and down and looks like a teardrop squish them together I know, I know, my nail is too big, I will cut it, don't worry, I just cannot do a home because it's acrylic, so... I got a comment saying something about my nail. That was funny though. It should not be bad for you when you making anything with clay on your nails because you're not supposed to use your finger, like your fingertips, just your palms because it's easier, so you can do it. I'm just putting it together to start making this. I really want to know his name now. The bad mood mushroom. So now with this, really, I love this tool for mouth because it makes the curve for you. I'm just gonna make his smile upside down smile here. He's very angry. And the tool you can find on my website too. I will put it somewhere here or it's definitely on the box below. I made two little balls, kind of not in a circle shape, more like an oval shape for his eyes because he has that, you know, eyebrows then it's curvy like you when you're angry. So it's the the eyes are not really a perfect circle. It's kind of more like an oval shape. And now with two little things I'm making his teeth up because he has those two teeth like out of his mouth and always have the pictures around for you to look. Um, I have my computer. I always say don't have computers have a picture because you can go to sleep or it can change or battery die and then you need to stop what you're doing to click things and that's not cool. And the little black snake I'm doing his eyebrows. I made one long one all together because it was easier for me, if you have a little trouble, you can cut into two parts and, you know, make each eye separate. And now with the two, I'm just flattening and out, making flat because it makes him look angrier. And that's what I wanted him to do, like to look very angry like my picture. Here we go. Now I'm gonna open black and I, I'm trying to make super long but not not making wider because we're gonna make the track in the, in the top of the bottom tier. I'm not worried about how perfect it looks because I'm gonna cover grass all around so I'm just trying to make it longer enough to fit the whole cake but I'm not worrying about the sides or anything and then I'm gonna place on the cake and then if he has anything that is, you don't like it or is missing a part don't worry we're gonna put a glass a glass nothing we're gonna put grass on it like we did in the top so it's not gonna um, be noticeable just go all around the cake with the black and smooth it out and 
don't have any fingerprints or anything, the rest we can fix with the grass. Now I'm gonna use the green around right on the edge to cover everything that I didn't like. And actually I would put it there even if it was perfect. Some places didn't need to, but I'm gonna go with the green all around because I think it looks prettier. And with the scissor again, we're gonna make all the grass. And you're gonna repeat that all around the cake. If you miss some parts, then you think you need put in more, just put the grass, the green and make more grass. I, uh, I'm placing this little black snake around the seven because I thought that was just appearing in the cake. And I, I think then putting the black around just as a border looks very cool and you can see the seven from far away and be sure that is a number. So the, the foam board, I make two circles, put them together and with this um, electrical tape, I put it around to make a base because I wanted the track on the bottom tier, but it's just two tier cake. So I will not have that, you know, detail on the bottom and that's what I wanted to do. And then with the white, I'm gonna make like the little lines in the middle of the track. So you know that it's a track, not it's a black, you know, stripe. And using the board, you can use as a cake board already and gives the, the way better looking in your cake. Even if you're not using for a track, you can use to match your cake with something else like a ballerina shoe or whatever you're making. And you're gonna go tracing the whole cake and trace the bottom too. Here we go. Now I'm making all the stars with the little eyes. As I told you, you can put the eyes before you glue everybody. But I didn't, and I actually was looking at the cake. The cake, then I was looking at the picture, I didn't have the eyes on every single star, but I thought that Mario Bros had the little star on a big one, so I just wanted to do that because I thought it looked cuter. And again, I'm putting the grass between the bottom tier and my foam just to you know to give a finishing and to look pretty and hide that between the foam and the cake because it looks just a hole and we don't like that and we're gonna go there all around now we're gonna start making the pretty mushroom the q one i don't know his name either so i made a ball a flat and a bottom like this and then the I'm gonna use this piece of foam because I don't want to squish. I want him to keep round. And with the ball tool, I'm just gonna push gently against my palms to make a little indentation where we're gonna put his body. Just like that. Always use the sponges when you don't want to lose, you know, the shape. Because if I'm pushing against the table, it will be flat, not like around. Um, now I'm gonna open a little bit with my fingers just because I want to be like a puzzle, like get together very perfectly. And now I have the space to put the body and we're gonna make some spots because it's red and full of spots. So we're gonna make flat circles and place on the top of the mushroom. I was being sure that my circles or circly <laughs> but um i guess i'm just picky and we, i put it three 
one big and two small each side. That's what I could see in the picture, I don't know if he has more. Let it dry before you paint the eyes. My stars are dry, that's why I was painting it. But let it dry because you don't want you know, to make a mess and blacks, if you mess it up, it's hard to clean. And that's it is. He's so cute. Now with the white, I want to make something special for the top, like the finishing line, uh, finishing line for the race. So I'm gonna use the same squares that I made for, you know, for the top tier to make that flag. And I started with two lines and I thought it was too small and it would not look cool because I couldn't kind of finish the square. So I, you're gonna see that I added a little bit more white and then I made the line like three instead two. I just cut the axis around to make a rectangle and I'm placing those picture holders on the back just because I want this to stand up on the cake so I'm doing that right now covering the back and I will let it dry before I place on the cake because if you put it now it's just gonna lose the form don't forget to put glue too I also have this on my uh, I don't know if it's there but it's gonna be there soon on the website if you need it So I squish a little bit because I don't want to be flat because you know it's a flag and now we're gonna write Jake's name I want it to be special for him and to have his name so I'm using the red because I thought it was going to pop on that black and white background If you guys like to see cakes like that, even a fake or real, um, just let me know. I love to make fake cakes because I think you can keep forever. But um, if you guys want to see more videos like that, please let me know. I was not measuring, I'm just making snakes. Now I, we're gonna make the bomb. I just make a circle in black and put two oval eyes right there. And I wanted to put it like a real candle on it. So I got one of those little candles and put it on the top. I don't have the video, I don't know why I stopped recording. But if you guys wanna see more from this cake and see the, the little flower and the bomb, let me know, I will make the video again. I don't know what happened to the end. It's probably because it was videotaping forever and I missed some footage. But here is the cake done, and I really like the way it looks. Uh, the top card is a toy, so I didn't make it. And here's the cake and the party. We decorated the table, we made the track go all around. So, and this is the background we had in the party. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!